Hi everyone and welcome to my incredibly messy studio. Look at the state of it, I need to clean it. Anyway, this is one that I was really excited about and I was dying to do this one in class with all of you. But seeing as we don't have class this month, I said we do it on our YouTube channel. So we're going to learn how to paint a cherry tree because they're all in blossom at the moment and they're looking spectacular. So what you need for this is some cotton buds, some white paint and some pink paint. And what I've used for the background on mine is chalk. But you can do this on black paper or coloured paper and it'll still look really, really nice. Use pencil. You could use pencil. Or if you want to be really ambitious, you could do, you know, like our galaxy sky that we did before. If you use your sponge with some blue paint in the background and then sponge in your grass as well, that would look really good. But I'm just using chalk because it's quick. So I'm going to hand the camera over to Millie and I am going to get started. Okay, so Millie, you're going to have to go up high so everyone can see what's going on. So the first thing we're going to do is our little hill of grass. I'm just using my chalk really quickly and I'm filling in. You can smudge it in as well. You will be smudging it in a second. And I'm also going to use a bit of dark green as well. So if you're doing this with your sponge and paint, you can use the two colours and then kind of blend them in together. Or you could also... And I've seen them done on black paper and they're really pretty as well. So if you didn't want to do background black paper, it would be perfect. Okay, I'm going to do my sky now. So I'm going to groom it in my blue quite heavily. And you can see I'm just kind of going in circles all around the page. And I'm going to use a little bit of purple just to add some definition. And with my green fingers. I had an accident with my finger last night, so one of them I can't use, which is why we're not really doing a drawing video tonight. But hopefully, it will be better tomorrow. And then I'm going to shake it off. Shake Just it off. Like Taylor Swift. Okay, looking pretty? Okay, so you can draw your tree with paint or with a pencil or a marker, or whatever you want. You can go high, Millie, if you don't mind. Okay, so we're going out at both ends and then you're going to do a divide between them and another one for your roots. And the great thing about this is that you don't have to draw all of your tree. Look at that. That's just a big spiky mess at the moment, isn't it? Yep. Yep. That's a good sign. It means we're nearly there. So if I get black, dark brown chalk or if you're doing this with pencil again, just kind of outline your edges and then add some tone so it looks like the bark of a tree. It's little scribbly bits. You can see it in that one over there as well. Yeah, if you come back or if you do kind of little curve bits, it makes it look like your trunk, your roots are kind of coming up. 3D. 3D, thanks. Brain's not working. Okay, looking very boring and not amazing like our finished one, but there is method in our madness. So the next thing we're going to do is add these things. Branches. Yeah, but they're not attached, so they're not really branches. They're just lines with another line coming out of them. And this is how easy this tree is. And I bet you if you show it to someone, they'll go, oh my gosh, that is amazing. Who did that? Okay, now, are you ready for the fun bit? You're going to ask mum or dad, can I have some cotton buds? And they'll probably say, yeah, go on. And when you get them, you're going to bunch them all together like this. And you are going to, sorry, my sore fingers in the way, dip them into your pink paint. Like so, now make sure they're all level. If you want, you can get an elastic band and Red join logo. them all together so it's easier. And then this is the puppet, ready? You literally... them on like that. If you don't have cotton buds at home, this is the time to pretend you're back in junior infants and you're going to do this. You see? Finger paint. <laughs> so you can have big ones, but it is much prettier with little cotton bud dashes. Okay, I'm gonna do all the pink ones really quickly. Let's do and make your tree nice and bushy, kind of leave gaps every so often. 
beautiful. Thank you, Millie. And go over your branches, but you'll still be able to see them. How's it looking? Is it looking magnificent, Josh? It could be a masterpiece. It is not a masterpiece yet, for it is not finished. And the reason it is not finished is we need to get these dirty pink ones and turn them upside down and use this side. Remember, make them level. And into your white paint. Look at my dirty, messy palette. Why? I am not a clean artist. Because if you see cherry blossoms out in the white wild, paint. they have white petals and kind of pink petals. Now, this tree also works if you wanted to do a sunset and do it in orange and red, you could have an autumn tree. Sorry, for some reason there's blue in this. Or if you're doing it on black paper, you could do it in white and blue and have like a galaxy tree. You get the make idea? a star tree. Good. Now, it's lovely, but there's no movement in the picture. It's very stationary. So what we're going to do is get a couple of our pink ends of these and just do little daubs. And these are cherry blossoms flowing in the wind. See the way? So now we know the wind is going that way. But you could have another couple over here. I don't think anyone would mind or give out. What do you think? And then also, where do cherry blossoms go when they land? On the ground. On the ground, indeed. So you can use a few. If it was an awesome tree, you could do leaves on the ground. You could, yeah. You could, and there's loads of ideas for this. You could do a whole forest. So if you did a tree on either side and had all the top, that would be really pretty too. You could have a swing. Do you remember like we did with our tree with the night and day? Yeah. You could have a swing on it. You could have... A mum and dad underneath it, or your family. A picnic. A picnic would be nice. I'd like to go on a picnic. Okay, and then maybe just a few more daubs of white down here. And you're finished. Now, if you're doing this in paint, you can add more kind of grassy bits at the bottom and some maybe some birds in it as well, but that's the idea. So all you need, paint, cotton buds, nice dirty hands, and have fun. Okay, guys. See you tomorrow. Wish we were finished.